everyone say hi, Samir. Hi, Samir. Hey, guys. Oh, they, <laughs> they want to show you our flag real quick that they made. Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> you guys can sit down now. Thank you. Oh, well, we're so excited to see you. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to, uh, to chat with me. We were hoping we could ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's see. Let's start with Amelia. Stand up, Amelia. <laughs> what age did you start doing the triple jump? Hey, Amelia. Um, well, I started when I was uh, maybe 16 years old. I was in 11th grade in high school. Well, so not too long ago. No. Tanner, stand up. When did you stop doing the triple jump? Oh, he just answered that. <laughs> he just answered that one. Do you have another question you could ask? Do you want to ask him what age he started running? Ask him that. What age did you start running? Hey, um, let's see. I started running, I was in seventh grade, so I believe I was 13 or 14. Um, and I was a distance runner when I started, so that means I ran the mile run and the two mile run and all those longer races. Um, but I didn't do that for very long. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has a question? Ashley. What age, what age did you start the Olympics? Hey, um, well this is actually my first Olympics, so I'm 27 now and I'll be 28 when the, uh, the opening ceremonies start on July 27th of this year. So this is my first time going. And did you start training in college? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I, I trained for a little bit my senior year of high school, and then in college I made some big improvements. I had a couple of great coaches in college, and also during graduate school. And, of course, my coach now is an excellent coach. He's got me to the point where I can go to the Olympics. That is so great. Who else has a question? Becca. Stand up. Look at the computer. The computer's here. There you go. What's your question? Hey, Becca. Um, Hello. You want to ask him about Haiti? Okay, what do you want to ask him about Haiti? Maybe when did you live? When did he live there? When did you live in Haiti? What's that? When did you live in Haiti? Learn to... When did you live in Haiti? Or did you ever uh, live in Haiti? Have a seat back up. Gotcha. I haven't lived there for an, ex for an extended period of time. Okay. Usually when I go, it's to visit family um, when I was younger. And nowadays I go to uh, help out and help rebuild after the tragedy they had a couple of years ago. And a lot of times now when I go, it's for a week to um, to chat and hang out with kids who are about your age. That is so great. Who else has a question or something want they want to say? Mackenzie. How many years have you been doing the long jump? Hi, Mackenzie. Um, well, it's been uh, about 11 years now. And uh, this is actually my first year doing it full time because I was in high school, and then college, and then graduate school, and then I finished law school in 2010, um, so I had to balance track and field with school, but now I'm a full-time professional athlete, and this is my first year doing that. Could you maybe explain to them how to do the triple jump? We've done, we did the long jump on the Connect, and some of them just participated in a local track meet and did the long jump, but could you kind of tell them about the triple jump? Sure. Well... I think like this, I feel like the long jump is the cousin of the triple jump, but it's 10 times easier. Or let's say it's three times easier because it's only one jump, right? Um, so how many of you guys have played hopscotch? Anybody play hopscotch? You guys know how to play hopscotch? All right, perfect. It, even though it's an older game. Um, but like hopscotch, you have the squares and you have to hop on one foot into each square, right? And sometimes you do right, right, and then you do a double foot into the two squares. So the triple jump is almost like that. So for me, I do right, right, and then I switch to my left, and then I jump into the sand. 
What? And sometimes some people can do the opposite. They do le two lefts, one right, and then jump into the sand. Wow. So it, it, so it sounds more difficult than it is, but if you think of it like hopscots and you just jump twice on one leg, jump once on the other leg, and then jump into the sand, then you've done the triple jump. That is so cool. Now when we did the um, long jump, our best score on the connect was 11 meters. How about Ooh. how far do you jump? Well, let's see. In the long jump, my best is uh, about seven and a half meters, 7.5 meters. Um, so you guys set a world record, which is really, that's, you guys are bigger than I could ever be. Um, and the triple jump, my best is 17.39 meters. And the world record in that is 18.29, but I think you guys could beat that too if they had that in tonight. <laughs> wow. Well, and we had to talk a lot about that because in the sprint, we ran the 100 meters in nine seconds on the connect but then we went outside and really did it and it was about 26 seconds so we had to talk about the difference between really doing these events and doing them on the connect yeah <laughs> it's tougher it's uh it's easier to do on the connect but it's more fun to do it outside and in real life you know and if you guys get a head start you guys like running um you know, maybe in the future that 26 seconds in the 100 ends up being 9 point something seconds. You never know. That's right. That's right. Does anybody else have a question or comment for Samir that we haven't talked about yet? Yoreli, you want to stand up? Um, Real loud, sweetheart. Do you jump? <laughs> do you jump? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. In the triple jump, I do three jumps. Um, and uh, in the long jump, I know you guys tried the long jump once before, and it was just one jump. So jumping is my favorite event, and sometimes I, sometimes I sprint a little bit, and I just run the 100 or the 200. James, did you have a question or comment? Stand up so Samir can see you. Hi, James. We watched you on the computer. Oh, we did. We watched you on the computer. We found a YouTube video what? of you. Oh, man. <laughs> So, and, you know, hopefully that video was, uh, wasn't too bad. That's probably one of my practice videos, and I was just getting, getting the hang of things before competition. You looked great to us. We were pretty impressed. <laughs> pretty impressed. Anybody else have anything they want to say to Samir? Now, isn't it so wonderful to be talking to someone that's going to be in the Olympics? Yeah. It is so great. Are you excited for the opening ceremony? I am, I am, especially since it's my first time. And, you know, usually I just watch the opening ceremonies on TV, but now I actually be, get to be parading in the stadium and waving at the cameras. So it's really exciting. I, I don't think being an Olympian will sink in until that day. I bet. And tell oh, us. Oh, you guys will watch. Oh, are we going to watch the opening ceremonies and look for him? Yeah. Oh, yes. And really quick, right. could you tell us about your race tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, actually, I'll be competing. I'm in Shanghai, China right now. And this is, I'll show you guys my hotel room. It's, it's kind of small, but um, oh, just two that. beds, so I have one roommate. And then there's a hallway with the, with the bedroom on the side of it. Um, and I flew, I left the United States on Wednesday, and I got to China. It's, it's uh, I'm a little confused. It's Thursday night over here now. Um, and there's a Diamond League competition that I'll be competing in, which is... Uh, sort of the top level competitions for track and field in, in the world. So it'll be myself and maybe seven or eight other triple jump competitors, and some of them have been former world champions or former Olympic medalists. Um, so this is sort of just a tune-up for the, for the Olympics in July, and each of these Diamond League meets just gives me a chance to get some really good competition and to make sure that my training is going well. Oh, well, that is so great. Would you have a chance maybe afterwards to email us and let us know how you did? Yeah, yeah, consider it done. I definitely will. Oh, we would love that. Well, we better let Samir get to bed. He's got a big race tomorrow. So can you wave to him and say thank you, thank you, thank you? Thank you! I say good luck! Good luck! And go Haiti! Go Haiti! Oh, man, thanks so much, guys. Great thanks, talking Samir. to you all. Thanks, Samir. Bye-bye. Bye, have a good day. Bye-bye.